when we talk about Lumeria, when we talk about the times before the fall of the frequency of Earth, when Earth was existing in a higher dimension and a higher resonance and frequency, where the species and the beings existing upon the planet were running around more in etheric, shimmering light bodies. And what's starting to happen is we're having the experience of starting to see the elemental and the nature realm start to click back into those frequencies. And I really light up on this. This is what the guardians have been showing. And so this is why when you go outside and you sit and you just start staring at the trees or you stare up at the sky and the clouds or you like just look off into the landscape and you see even more of the dancing lights. Are you, do, do you guys know what I'm talking about when I talk about those little dancing lights that are floating all over. It looks like a million little light orbs floating all over in the sky. Anybody, anybody experience those? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you soften your eyes to where you just look off, you'll, you'll see all of um, the life force energy, really, it's it's the chi and the life force energy. It's it's the living essence of creation, and it's very much its own elemental and its own energy. But it's also the living breath of Sophia. Yes, and like pixels, very very much. And so these little guys are flying all over, and you can see them as if they're like just millions of little fairies even flying around. But if you really just let yourself look. We're having the experience of seeing the swirling geometry that's coming in, where many of us are are seeing the grid, seeing the seeing the geometry patterns. But as I'm watching these geometry patterns come in, they're new. They aren't ones that were there a year ago. the The geometry and the way that they swirl, they look very much like mandalas, like larger, like intricate geometry and geometry and geometry. So they look almost like mandalas that replicate all over the place in a grid like patterns. And then what I'm also noticing is that behind that, the grid that used to be very, um, very linear, there was a grid that was very much uh, like cross patterns, like a fence, like linear squares matrix like we we would think of it almost as metatronic cube in the sky and you could look at it and you could sit there and go like oh my gosh it would look like the patterns behind um say a computer program that you would see in the sky patterns that has been fading and i'm watching it get replaced with a more organic pattern in the sky so I'm just going to invite you guys to, to see this because I know all of you are going out and connecting with nature and seeing more of the energy and more of the life coming off of the plants the trees the animals all of this vibration but one of the neatest things is actually being able to look into the sky and actually see the literal geometry that is coming from the solar patterns, you can see it many times if you focus towards where the light stream, don't look right at the sun, but if you can look laterally or towards the evening where the rays of the sun are coming, you'll get the pure stream where the stream of energy is coming like a sunbeam coming from the sky and it'll give you the best place to actually see the new light language and the new sacred geometry that's coming through. Now, I'm not an artist. I'm not someone that can sit and draw any of this. But if any of you have that gift or you feel inclined to, to connect with it and begin to draw some of those patterns, that's absolutely incredible. But what they're saying for us that in order for us to acclimate to this physiology, to these new light language and new light codes, we have to start to switch our neurotransmitters and our processors in our brain who are primarily wired towards left or logic and metatronic cube systems. We've been wired to these metatronic cube systems. And now what they're saying is we are having to 
relearn, almost like becoming ambidextrous to learn how to utilize the right side of the brain and communicate through this different language. And this language that we communicate through is going to be the language of the heart. This is why they take us into the heart so much because as much as our brain logically wants to figure out, why did I see that? Why was it that color? Why was it that symbology? Why did that pop up for me? Why did this happen? Every time we do that, we hiccup ourselves and hinge ourselves through the logic field is what they say. And that there is, there is a way for us to have levels of understanding as this process goes, but that if we kind of pick up too much on wanting the logic of why everything is happening, it will keep us in this, in this kind of switch that goes flip, 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 flip. And they're saying that just fries our brain. <laughs> they're like, uh, you guys can do that for so long, but it's, it's going to feel like it's driving you crazy. <laughs> like what reality do I live in? <laughs> so um, what they're inviting is that when we be within this environment, that this language that we're learning to speak is the language of talking to a deer. And you're not, I mean, you could, you could talk to a deer and say, hi, deer, how are you? But that's not the language a deer actually speaks in. So like Veronica, you've been communicating with the deer and you know, it's through emitting an energy. It's emitting a, an I'm safe. I love you. I vibrate in your energy. I am one or connected with you. And it's the same with even the lights, those little orbs that are flying all over you can sit and begin to attune your connection to them where they'll start swirling and dancing for you in different patterns, which is, is pretty wild. How the sky was in Peru. Yeah. It's everywhere now. Yeah. Just breathe it in. Absolutely. And a lot of times, you know, um, in different high vibrational places upon the planet that have been holding vortexes and grid fields like Peru, like Mount Shasta, like um, especially mountain ranges and places where not a lot of humans or humanity is frequenting. Um, those were the places on the planet where the nature grid, the natural cosmic grid was able to hold its original blueprint more. So that's why we would, you get so high hiking in the mountains, right? It's because you're just like, ah! and it's because you're in that pure blueprint and grid. And so what the, what's just happening is it's starting to be right in town, right in the city, right wherever you are, this is what we're feeling. And so in order for us to really acclimate with that, they're just going to take us through a little bit of a process today in order to help us balance the systems in our body to begin to even have a way of working with this so that you're just really quick. You're just really quick about letting it process through because I think this was one of the most powerful uh, waves we felt in a while, but it's preparing us specifically for this solar eclipse that's coming on our next new moon, which is in two weeks. So <laughs> just enough time to catch our breath before the next wave. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna invite us all to go ahead and just take some nice deep breaths in. Just allow yourself to come into center within your body. And I'm gonna just Open up with the invitation that wherever you are, if you're in a, a home or a space, a, whether it's a bed or a chair, or even if you feel like standing up while you're listening to this, that this is going to be really an invitation to even move the body a whole lot more in order to open up the chambers, the ventricles and the different systems within our body in order to move more of the currency through us. So again, take a deep breath in. Uh, 
And as you hold that breath, you might move your lungs to expand. And when you can't hold it anymore, oh, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. That in this very I am present moment of now, that as we open up the sacred circle, that we call upon the guardian host to be present with us. That in this very sacred time, in this time of the quickening of consciousness, in this time of the quickening of the awareness, in this time of the quickening of the shifting from our mind to our heart, that we awaken ourselves to be in full communion and telepathic communication with our higher selves, with the guardians. We awaken ourselves to be aware of all of the families, the elementals, the earth beings, all of the different multidimensional beings and interdimensional beings that exist right alongside of us. That as we awaken our heart song in this very moment, that we acknowledge the guardians of the four directions. With so much love, we give honor to the guardians of the north, to the south, to the east, and to the west. That with so much love, we acknowledge the guardians of the sacred directions of the earth, of the sun, and of our heart. And in this very moment, as we bring all of this in a unified sphere of oneness within our heart, that we amplify our heart song to be in unison with all creation. That we acknowledge the elementals of the air, the angelic sylphs the divine devas of wind, of air, of clouds, of the sky. We acknowledge each and every one of you for your movement of the breath, of the atmosphere, for the maintaining of the sacred ceiling of our divine mother starship, of the spaceship that we fly through the cosmos within, that you are the guardians of the ceiling, of the space, and of the atmosphere that maintains the stability of the starship as we fly towards the great central sun. That in this very I am present moment of now that we call upon all the divine aquatic angelics. We call upon the divine guardians of the water, of the rains, of the rivers, of the oceans, the divine guardians of the internal waterways. We acknowledge you with the greatest of love for you hold the great life force within you. You are the keepers of this wisdom. You are the keepers of the records. You are the keepers within the crystalline liquid form. And with so much love, we acknowledge you now as family as guardians and as keepers of this sacred elemental. That we acknowledge the divine elementals and the guardians of the earth, of the land, of the minerals, of the crystals. That within this mineral and earth kingdom, that you hold within the base elementals and the base structures of which our bones, our blood, and our body is made of. With so much honor and love, we say thank you as our family and as the guardians of the sacred elemental for holding this vibration for us. With so much love, we give so much love and honor to the guardians of the sacred fire. The sacred fire that holds the molten within the earth, the liquid lava that is the creative life force energy, the sacred kundalini energy and force of this divine planet circulating in a cosmic way through the many or organic organisms through the surface earth. We acknowledge the living fire that lives within the star fire, within each of our molecules, our cells, within our breath, and within our kundalini spinal column that allows us to feel the living spirit as it moves through us. 
We acknowledge the sacred element and acknowledge you as the spirit that gives us life. And as we take a deep breath, I invite you now to just take a deep breath in. And breathe into your pineal gland. And on the exhale, you're going to just drop that breath, that star fire, that Merkaba, all the way down your spinal column, down to the core of the earth. And just imagine connecting to that 12th dimensional shield in the core of the earth. And as you connect within that vibrational energy, just drop into that 12th dimensional plasma shield. It is a crystal core, a crystalline plasma core within the earth. And as you connect with that, that in this very I am present moment of now, that we connect to this crystalline plasma core of the divine heart of mother. Mother, we acknowledge you. Divine Mother, we honor you for holding the crystalline template and blueprint for all creation. We honor you for holding the resonant base frequencies for all that exists within all of the different morphogenetic fields and pattern sequences throughout your different layers of your starship in your body. Divine Cosmic Mother, we acknowledge you as the guardian of this divine cosmic plasma heart of light that is a blueprint for us to connect to, to the cosmic heart of all creation. Divine Cosmic Mother, we acknowledge you as the guardian and the gatekeeper of our heart to reunite us again to the infinite connection we hold within our own divine blueprint. So we take a deep breath. Allow yourself to just fully and completely be within this vibration. Match your heartbeat to her heartbeat. Match your plasma in your blood to her plasma. And I'm going to invite you from her heartbeat, breathe that up and just breathe it in to your heart center. And as you breathe it into your heart center, just let it fill up almost as though a spring well is filling up from the bottom and your heart is just filling up where it's just filling up with this plasma liquid light like a bubbling spring within your heart. And that it may become a fountain within your heart. But the invitation here is to do nothing with it. She asks us, just sit with me and be present with me. How much room can you create for the Divine Mother to flow through your heart? Take a moment to tap in to that really silent, gentle feeling within there. It's alive. There's so much movement. It's love. It's creativity. It's compassion. It's everything and nothing all at the same time. And we're going to just make a declaration as we intend a clearing within this very heart center. That in this very present moment, in this moment of now, that we declare 
from the core intention of our heart to please identify any energies within our heart where we have been holding control, needing to be loved in a certain way, any places where we have been micromanaging or dictating our life or how we think this life should be within a human body. Every place that we have made a decision of what it is to be a human, what it is to be in a human body, what it means to move our consciousness through a human form, every place that we have ever been programmed of what it means to be a human and how it means to be a human surviving on the surface or even the inner earth of the earth. That in this moment, we are acknowledging all places where we have been programmed with consumerism, that we have to pay to survive, that we have to work hard to live, that we have to pay, that we have to sacrifice, that we have to be busy, that we have to control our reality, that we have to climb ladders, that we have to be constantly within the logic of our mind. In every place that we have been chasing degrees, where we have been chasing bigger bank accounts, where we have been chasing maintaining relationships or families or any idea of any structure that we have ever been taught or programmed with upon this planet, of what it means to be a human. In this very I am present moment of now, we are hereby saying it is time to be stripped clear and clean, that we are willing and ready to step into the virginal state of stepping forth brand new. No bindings, no contracts, no belief systems, no earthbound programs, that in this moment we acknowledge natural law, that there is the law of the universe, that there is the law of being nurtured and cared for. And that even if the smallest way we can attune to that is to remember some of the indigenous ways upon the earth. Remember the natural law of birds, of the wild animals. Remember the natural laws of the trees and the plants. They feel they have the right to be here because they're here. So in your heart, as you are allowing yourself to make room for the divine Holy Sophia, the divine cosmic mother to live inside your heart, just notice every place you've been programmed with Western thinking, Eastern philosophies, it doesn't matter. Any kind of planetary human philosophies that are based upon any of the governmental or religious structures or country structures around the world, that we are going to dissolve our all borders and beliefs within ourselves and come back into the divine harmonic blueprint of mother. That you could live as free as a cloud. And again, Notice your, if your logic mind comes in and says, well, how will I pay for my rent? How will I eat food? How will I take care of myself? How will I make sure I still go to my job and do what I need to do? And notice all of those places where the mind want, might want to come in and be like, I can't live like a bird. I can't live like a cloud. I can't live like natural law. I have to deal with this society. And what she's inviting us to do is to click into that natural law within your heart. And are you even willing to dream it within you? In every place that we are afraid to surrender to how we exist in the society, to realize that in truth, we could probably exist quite well meditating under a tree for a very long time. 
And it's the fear of all that we've worked so hard for to get, right? And so within this, it's not saying, okay, you need to go be a minimalist and get rid of everything. This isn't it at all. What she's inviting us to is, can we step into that frame of thinking of surrendering all of the different structures of how they are and that we are going to still maintain our physical reality however we need to, but in your heart, begin to live in natural law. Begin to feel your right to walk anywhere, breathe anywhere, play with the light streams, play with the sacred geometry, connect to the animal kingdom, start to step into the, their world, be in their world, be in the world of the elementals, be in the world of the natural kingdom, be in the worlds beyond the veils, be in the worlds that feel like home. That in this very I am present moment of now, that as we call upon the guardian host, we ask to please identify through our heart chakras and then through any of the spinal chakras in the back of our system, please scan all body systems. Please scan all meridian lines and all axitonial lines. Please notice all major and minor meridian and chakra points within the body. Please identify any implant areas upon the body that might be infiltrated by any implants, inorganic systems, mind slides, programs that have been plugged into any metatronic systems or any reversal systems that have been programmed for con consumerism or slavery models of being. That in this moment, please scan through our physical body, front to back, back to front, left to right, right to left, all diagonals, all horizontals, all verticals. Please identify any of these infiltrating implants, mind slides, or seals within our physical form. Please box them all in a white light and remove them permanently and irrevocably from all of our energetic systems and all of our multidimensional layers of our 15 dimensional harmonic body. Please notice any places where any of these infiltrating energies may have entered in through any of our belief systems, any contracts or any places where there have been wormholes, energy implants, siphons, or tears within our etheric forms or our astral bodies. Please identify all of these places and please permanently remove, remove them and permanently seal them now, repair them now to the highest order and within the highest intent of our 15 dimensional blueprint. Please align all of it now with the harmonic universal natural law template. Activate it now, show us now, thank you. And so it is. Now, we ask of the guardian host and through the highest good of all of our higher selves, please identify within our any our energy systems. Please scan through any places where any of these infiltrating energies or any contracts or agreements that we may have with any other species that may not be within the highest alignment of our Christ avatar God self. Please acknowledge where any places where maybe our oversoul or our soul agreements have made contracts with different species, races, or parallel realities that are not truly in the highest alignment with our Christ avatar God self or within the solar Rishi's families of light. Please identify any of these places where we have played out any polarity schemes in order for our expansion or for understanding or integrating within this universe. Please scan any places where we have had any incarnational experiences that may have been manipulated, hybridized, cloned, implanted, or utilized in any kind of sleeper ways in any way that we may have been utilized against our free will, knowingly or unknowingly. Please identify all of these parallel timelines. 
collapse them all into the current timeline, cancel and delete all energetic ties, all contracts, all agreements, all blend bindings, all energetic seals, all ownership seals, and any bindings across any of these 15 dimensional time spectrums. Please identify all of these now and through the fire of light, burn them, dissolve them, delete them, remove them permanently. In this moment, we are asking to please scan through our body to any places that are holding programs from the past. In this moment, as the resonant frequencies of the Earth sphere are being amplified by the photonic blueprints and light language from the solar Rishi fields, that we are acknowledging that these increased photonic light rays are creating the ability for us to catch agitations. Any places that we have held shame, blame, fear, guilt, trauma. Any places that we have been holding any of these traumatic energies that we didn't even acknowledge as a trauma within our life. And so therefore we ignored it as though it was nothing. There's nothing we have to do in order to find all of these. We are just asking of our higher self now. Higher self you have the all-seeing eye. Identify through all soul timelines any of these miasmic schisms within our spiritual or physical fascia. And we are commanding, we are complete with that now. And that in this moment, our invitation is just to imagine Imagine your soul field almost like a web of fascia that is wrapped around all of the muscles and the ligaments of your body. And that every time your fascia gets a, an injury, how it gets scar tissue. So I want you to imagine that your entire soul and over soul field is like this huge membrane of fascia, like a spider web through time and space. And every place that you've ever held on to shame, pain, guilt, anger, revenge, hatred, trauma, cloning, hybridization, feeling like a victim, being the perpetrator, harming another, killing another, raping another, anytime we have perpetrated or been perpetrated upon, scan all of the miasmic fields across all time, dimension, all spaces, all parallel realities through all different fields of our 15 dimensional light body system. And as you catch that, we're just going to ask our higher self to highlight all trauma signature points. Okay. And once you have it, just imagine it's like this huge Christmas tree lit up all around you, like this whole neural network of lights that are just highlighting all of these bound up fascia places within the spider web of your soul. Now come all the way back into your heart and just anchor into your heart. Feel the pure plasma love of Divine Mother and notice that this plasma it's cool, but it's also like a white hot fire. It's like a plasma flame or fire. And it's emanation that makes the flames grow is the vibration of neutral, compassionate love, love, love. And imagine from your heart that you are now inviting the divine cosmic mother to breathe her love through you, that you are willing to surrender your ego so much that you are willing to let her completely support you, love you, hold you, care for you, and heal you. And it's as though you let yourself float in her and surrender where your heart becomes all that you are and feel this plasma ball of light begin to grow. And as it grows, watch it start to move out through the entire spider web of all the fascia. And just say this invitation, 
I surrender all of my past. I surrender all of this miasma, the pain and the struggle. I surrender all of the ways in which I have been holding on to all of these different things lit up in my soul field. I am willing and ready to let the flash of light set me free. I am willing to let them all grow through the light and dissipate and be free. I am willing to surrender all that I am of the past so that I can be here now free. Just allow yourself to witness. Are you willing to let go of all of your stories? Stories of your past, stories of all of the different timelines. Are you willing to let all of that go so that you could be fully present right here and right now? Would you be so willing to shed all of the skins of the past? All of the personas, all of the egos, all of the feelings, all the memories that have been binding this fascia. And would you be willing to strip it like dropping a costume after a costume after a costume, just stripping yourself naked and bare? Would you be so willing to be the transformation of the dragonfly or the butterfly? that you would completely allow all of your past to be dissolved so that you could be born brand new as something completely different. And this is an offer. Are you willing to be the new human of earth? And if that is a yes, let the love of mother, let the love of the divine, let the love of the cosmic mother just beam out of you. And it's like a blinding light. It's almost like it just flashes through. This would be akin to if you had a bunch of family home videos. And you're in a way being asked to throw them in the fire in order to be brand new. That in another level, at a different spectrum, all records are always kept within the crystalline records and the Akashic libraries in different places. But the way we hang on to records here is as if we're carrying around all of our family home videos and tapes and pictures because we don't want to let go of the past. We don't want to forget when our kids were babies or we don't want to forget, you know, my mom when she was alive or my dad when he was alive or all of these different things. And so we're literally binding the past inside of us and we're choking ourselves with all of this memories that we're dragging around because we're not trusting the cosmic library to hold all the library memories of creation. So you're being asked in this moment, are you willing to surrender all of your home movies to all of these different lifetimes and soul experiences to this celestial blinding white flame of life? Are you willing to be the new human? There we go. 
And I'm going to invite you to just allow that flame to just keep moving through timelines. And if you want to move it through soul records and through soul timelines, I'm going to ask you guys with so much love, focus it on the Pleiades. Focus it to the Orion star system and focus it to Lyra. These are some of the primary places where we're holding a lot of our galactic wounds and our galactic memories where we haven't figured out how to let go of these wars in this past. And as long as we keep dragging that around, we have to have people in our reality around us that keep perpetuating this level of suffering in our life. And what the guardians have been saying is that it is imperative, it is our directive, should we choose to really truly be the pillars of light upon the earth, that they say to be this not as just something to say over and over, but that it is truly one of the most important tasks that we could emanate upon the surface earth. because. It requires us to hold this energy of neutral compassionate witness, universal law, divine law, natural law. This law that is in alignment with allowing our heart to sink with the heart of the earth. And what this is doing is that the more that we anchor and we hold this in, we are the solar rays. We are the Kumaras. We are the solar deities and beings that are coming and anchoring star fire upon the earth. And that if we keep getting distracted by the drama that's going on around us, we become the drama around us. And therefore, the levels of consciousness do not catch fire from the star fire that we were intended to hold. This is very much about the evolution of the yugas. That at certain levels in history in time, when we are too far orbited away from the great central suns, the consciousness dims. And so when the consciousness dims because enough of the solar rays can't reach the surface of the earth directly, we become the surrogates. We become the surrogate light. We incarnate in to bring the solar rishi light, to anchor it into the earth through the dark times in order to maintain the structure and the vitality of the system so it doesn't collapse into just pure darkness and a black hole. And if we could understand that if each of us could hold the highest levels of integrity within our consciousness of just being a neutral, honestly, just at a base level, be a neutral, compassionate witness to yourself. Let's just start there. Don't judge yourself. Don't put yourself down. Be your own level of love to you. Love yourself so much that you love yourself the way that Earth Mother wants to love you. Now, being that literally transforms a radius miles around you. And that this is what is the ask of us right now, to be the wildfire that allows enough of the light to begin to catch more minds, more consciousness on awake, on fire. And that when we hold the pictures, and again, a lot of these pictures in our mind, a lot of these memories that we hold, we don't want to hear this, but a lot of them are mind slides. A lot of them didn't even happen. A lot of them are holographic inserts and in implants that have been placed into our memory in order for us to remember our childhood in a different way, to remember things in a different way, to be stuck on certain things and not be able to let things go because we remember it in certain ways. 
And this primarily happens a lot with parents. Always thinking back, oh my gosh, I could have done better. I should have been better. I let them down. Oh, I wasn't good enough. I wasn't there enough. I could have done more. And in this, that these are the things we are throwing into the fire now. So all of the places we make the declaration, all of the places that I have ever judged myself, put myself down, limited myself, repeated memories or movies within my mind of how I didn't live to the level or the expectations that I wanted to. All of the places where I have judged myself and seen myself short of worthy of love. I am done with that now. Divine Mother, I open my heart to the template of the cosmic heart of creation. I am willing to step into the next level of consciousness, existence, and being. I am willing to step into the next level of consciousness through the cycles of creation. I am willing to be the way shower of the next yuga cycle. Now in this moment, the invitation is to come back into your heart and allow yourself to just feel yourself as a ball of plasma light. Feel yourself as a holographic duplicate of the Divine Mother Gaia. You are a holographic replica of her. And as you feel that level of that divine replication of the divine Gaia, let yourself now imagine amplifying that fire of light to all the stories, all the embedded pain and trauma that has ever been embedded within her earth. So this is going to be all of the, the, the wars, the death, the traumas, the suffering, all of the bodies that have ever died upon the earth, who held on to some sort of story through that transition process, and they didn't have the liberation of their soul to completely just acknowledge that as a lifetime and to just be free as their eternal soul. So all the places where there is trauma through the spirit realm, we're just going to command in this very I am present moment of now that all higher selves of all of these souls, taking it one layer, I know we've done this many times, but as the amplification happens, more and more layers are opening up. And we're really getting down to deep levels of clearing these histories and timelines on the earth. And just so feel yourself just acknowledge holding that anchor of light for all souls who are requesting safe transit and safe passage back to their oversouls and Christ avatar God soul families. That in this moment, as we open up the sacred space, that we are hereby acknowledging that we are liberating, burning, and clearing all of the miasma, the mind slides, all of the implants, the trauma, and the suffering, or any of the blood sacrifice upon the planet through any of these levels of suffering. And we are hereby now taking all of the home movies of the earth, of all of these histories, and these tragedies, and these traumas, and these massacres, and these pains, and these sufferings upon the earth. And we take them now with love. We honor all for all that you experienced. And we are here to say now that story is complete. The past is the past, but we are eternal and we are free. It is time to be the new human now.
And as we imagine just beginning to purge all of that through, we're going to take it the next level. We're just going to amplify it up. And we're actually just going to go straight into the Pleiades. Because if we take it to the Tara holographic image of Earth and just step into the Tara timeline. So the Pleiadian, just step into the Pleiadian fifth dimensional or second harmonic earth and it's a massive sphere it's so much bigger than earth and as you tap into that notice that within it is all the fragments of our solar system so all we're going to do is we're going to step into the tara timeline and the holographic imprint that earth is a holographic replica of tara just in the same way that we are a holographic replica of earth Roughly, but just hold that thought. And as you step into Tara, just connect to her heart. Find that 12th dimensional shield within her heart. Notice how it, it resonates and it vibrates a little bit differently because it's in a different harmonic universe. And just acclimate yourself to that heartbeat. might even have to catch your breath a little bit because it's it's quite a bit faster in frequency just make room for it in your heart and when you feel like you have it just let it start shining out and just say i share this love to all timelines of the Pleiadian wars and the Pleiadian timelines that have ever been meshed with the solar system of Helios and Earth. And just imagine that it's almost like you're collapsing Earth with Tara. And as you collapse Earth with Tara, it's like you're just forgiving Canceling, deleting, neutral, compassionate witness. And it's almost just kind of like we're collapsing all of the trauma that ever happened. And we're just choosing to come back into a whole state of being. Notice it's the mind that wants to figure out, can we do this? Don't we need to like figure it out? Don't we need to like heal everything? And literally just notice how it's the mind that wants to unravel puzzles and figure things out. And that in truth, in the heart, holographically and through the quantum you're just connecting them there is nothing else you need to do it just is you bring it as one in your heart take a breath with that and when you're ready step into gaia step into the gaian timeline which is in the third harmonic universe in the eighth dimension of Orion. So now you're stepping in close to the Orion Nebula. And this is pure light fields. This is pure light fields. There is no physical planetary body here. Gaia is a purely etheric body here. And as you tap into that, you have to match and elevate your heart frequency basically to light body to tap into it. And just sync that energy and match it. And notice how it's actually higher vibration, but it's a little bit stiller here. It's a little calmer. Once you click into that, go ahead and feel that collapse between the Orion and the Pleiades, all of the trauma drama, and then couple it in with Earth and just take it as a trinity and bring them in together. Notice 
your ability to bring the Orion system into its highest vibration, the Pleiadian system into its highest vibration, and the Earth and the solar system into its highest vibration. And our job is just to hold on to that feeling. Just to hold on to that feeling because as we're keeping that feeling anchored in, we become the stabilizing anchor or, or the, the tether that begins to actually pull this timeline into, into physical reality upon the earth. And the final thing that they ask is now to take us in to Aramatena or the 12th Stargate. So this is going to be Aramatena and Lyra. And Aramatina and Lyra, it's actually the higher vibrational resonance to our sun. It is the highest expression of our sun within the cosmic blueprint. So now you're just in pure solar Rishi energy. Pure solar ray energy. And let yourself just be the light. Feel the highest counsels within Lyra. Feel the perfected form. And from Lyra, which is truly one of the origin places of all of these places we've been hanging on to these stories, just Connect it all the way down to earth. And you're going to start bringing them together like you're collapsing the timelines. And all you're doing is neutral, compassionate witness with love. It's just saying, I surrender all of those stories. I choose this golden light. I choose the aurora light. I choose now. Of the divine cosmic family of the guardian host, please bear witness to this declaration that in this very I am present moment of now that we ask to please scan through. And again, please acknowledge any contracts any karmic wheel imprints, any places where we have held any miasma within the spider web of all our of all of our fascia of our soul. Please scan through in any place one more time, anywhere that we held anything between that golden solar rishi of Lyra all the way into this physical blue sphere earth. Please identify anything from all timeline from the from the 950 billion year timeline and any contracts, any agreements, any implants, any cloning, any superimpositions, any phantom existences, any reversal experiences. We are now taking all of our millions or maybe even billions of holographic projections that our soul has ever incarnated into and experienced. And we now call all of ourselves home back now into one. We now proclaim that we call all of our parts, all of our body parts, all of our soul parts, all of our consciousness parts, all of our fragmented parts, all aspects of self through all levels of the 15 dimensional time matrix and any parallel realities and any wormhole existences that have ever pulled any outside of this 15 dimensional time matrix. And we call all of those parts home now. And we command to collapse ourselves into the zero point field now as one. We are one. We are one. We are one. You can say, I am one. I am one. I am one. I am now. I am now. I am now. I am that I am. We are that we are. And we are one.
Now we hand off to our higher self. Higher self, please acknowledge this upgrade through all levels of our consciousness. Please make all adjustments necessary to our brain. Please balance left to right, right to left hemispheres. Please balance all lobes within our brain and our neural processors and all circuitry within our brain. Please reconstruct all circuitry within our brain to be able to house more of the new levels of communication, telepathy, empathy, natural law, and interdimensional vis visualizations through the multi-rays and spectrums of light in which we are becoming accustomed to seeing on a day-to-day -day basis. Please readjust all cortexes and all ways in which the cones in different ways in which our eyes perceive colors, perceive rays and perceive frequencies, please update and upgrade them now so that we can have continuously crystal clear vision through all multidimensional spectrums. We acknowledge that through this increased visibility comes responsibility. And we are saying that we are willing to be the ambassadors to all levels of creation that we are going to become familiar with, aware of, realizing we share this earth with on a bigger level than we've ever realized. And that we won't act startled when we see a fairy being or a woodland being or a tree starts talking to us. That we will utilize our spiritual maturity to acknowledge the living consciousness of all creation. But in this very I am present moment of now, we ask to please scan through all levels of our nervous system and please update. Please ask that all levels of our lymphatic and our blood system be increased in flow, that we will increase our water intake in order to flush out all that is willing and ready to be flushed out and detoxed out of our body in order for us to hold more of the crystalline plasma light within our molecules and structures. Please update and upgrade all biological systems and organs within our body. Please do a full body reset on all organs within our body. And please update and upgrade them now with the new level of being in the now. Please fully and completely purge and clear all movies and all films and all emotions or memories of the past. We acknowledge our organs are the keepers of emotions and we ask for a full reset to all organs in our body in order to be crystal clear, purified now within this new level of peace, love, tranquility, neutral, compassionate witness and wholeness. Now, as we fortify this, just come back into your heart. And in your heart is like, these multi layers of earths and suns. So you have within your heart radiating feel earth mother, feel Tara, feel Gaia, feel Aramatena, feel Aurora, feel all of the different radiant spectrums. like a rainbow spectrum of energy just flowing through you. And you are now existing simultaneously on all of these different dimensions consciously. And your job is to be the new human here on earth that fully loves physicality, co-creates with it, honors it communicates with it, comes back into the natural ways and the natural laws. However, that is correct for you. And that any ways or any times that you see any resistance in the outside world from those that are not existing in this orb that you are, gently bring yourself back to the neutral, compassionate witness. Your job is just to hold this frequency. 
Hold it, hold it, hold it, be it, hold it, love it, hold it, accept it, hold it, play with it, hold it, radiate it, hold it, amplify it, hold it, love it, explore with it, create with it. Let it be your everything and notice how it's just going to change your reality. Just love every moment of it. With so much love, they're asking us to take this energy in our heart, to take one more breath in, breathe it up in your pineal gland, expand it up above your head, breathe it down, let it wash down your body, and feel how much, become aware, how much can you be 100% present in your body where your awareness of your heart is just as strong as your awareness in your arms. And now how aware can you be of your hips, of your thighs, of your knees, of your legs, of your feet? Okay, so notice that you can have all of your perception of the entire world right at the bottoms of your feet, that you could feel the vibrations and frequencies of the earth, that you could sense energy coming, that you could be aware of all creation just from the bottoms of your feet. And so our ask in this time, what mother is saying is balance our body so that we don't exist in our head or we don't exist floating like a helium balloon outside of our body but exist so connected with your form that you don't have more of your attention in your head or your heart than you do your feet or your hips or your knees or your earth chakra. Just let yourself tap into that. And anchor, lock, and seal that in. We ask of the guardian host to please note all shifts and changes that have taken place throughout this clearing and amplification. We ask of the Akashic Record Keepers to please make upgrades and updates to all of our Akashic Records. We ask of our higher selves to please facilitate continuously purging and clearing and upgrading all places where we have ever had bindings, entanglements, or contracts with anyone and continuously continue to send all of those individuals energies to their higher self, detoxing all individual energies out of our auric field, allowing us to be within our own atmosphere of the divine cosmic love of mother. That as we be this pillar of light, we ask that this light radiate forward into all potential future timelines. We ask of the Akashic Record Keepers, please scan all potential future timelines and please update, upgrade, and reset them to reflect all shifts, changes, and new template patterns that we are holding now. We are the living language of light upon the planet, and we make the declaration to live from our heart. With so much love, we say thank you to all the guardians. So we bring this journey to a close. And so it is.